Stem cells could provide new treatments and cures for diseases and injuries that afflict millions of people, including diabetes, Parkinson's, ALS, cancer, heart disease, sickle cell disease, and spinal cord injury. But some politicians in Jefferson City want to ban important types of stem cell research and cures in Missouri and make life-saving stem cell research a crime in our state. The Missouri Stem Cell Research and Cures Initiative was developed to make sure that won't happen. The Stem Cell Initiative would make it possible for very significant medical research to go forward in our state. It would provide access to cures if those cures are found for people who live in our state who are very sick. And it would outlaw any effort to try to clone human beings. The Stem Cell Research Initiative very simply allows Missouri scientists, Missouri physicians, and Missouri citizens to pursue, prescribe, and benefit from potential cures that would be available to every other citizen of the United States. It is critical that all stem cell research be permitted in the state of Missouri to be sure that our children will have access to every possibility of cure for their diseases. Stem cells are the building blocks of our bodies. They have the unique ability to turn into and regenerate other types of specialized cells that make up our tissues, bones, and organs. There are two basic types of stem cells, adult type stem cells and early or embryonic stem cells. Adult type stem cells are found in body tissues, including tissues in the bodies of adults and in discarded umbilical cords and placentas. Scientists have been conducting research with adult stem cells for more than 50 years. And adult stem cells have provided a number of important medical therapies, such as bone marrow transplants to treat leukemia. Now, the new frontier in stem cell research involves embryonic or early stem cells. Early stem cell research does not involve abortion. The two basic sources of early stem cells are leftover fertility clinic embryos that would otherwise be discarded and destroyed and a laboratory process called somatic cell nuclear transfer. SCNT is a recent medical breakthrough that provides a way to make early stem cells in a lab dish by inserting genetic material from a patient's own cell, like a skin cell, into a donated, unfertilized human egg. Unlike adult stem cells, early stem cells have the potential to turn into and regenerate any type of cell or tissue in the human body. As a result, most medical experts agree that early stem cells could provide cures for many diseases and injuries that have not been cured and probably cannot be cured with adult stem cells. Many hundreds of thousands of Missourians suffer from degenerative and debilitating diseases that might be helped by research with early stem cells. Diseases like diabetes, Parkinson's, ALS, diseases that are characterized by the loss of a functional cell type in an otherwise healthy individual. Stem cell research is the most promising promising avenue that is currently out there in terms of research. You know, if you look back to the past 50 years, the discoveries with adult stem cell research have made the most phenomenal things happen, but now, almost every day, there's a new development involving early stem cell research. I am very supportive of research with adult stem cells and with early stem cells. We have to do everything we can to make sure we are relieving suffering and curing diseases that cannot now be cured. That's why the Missouri Stem Cell Research and Cures Initiative was developed by a coalition of patient and medical groups. This important voter referendum measure, slated for the November statewide ballot, does three basic things. It protects the right of Missouri patients to have their diseases and injuries treated with any federally approved stem cell cures that are available to other Americans. It ensures that Missouri medical institutions can provide and help find those cures. And it establishes clear ethical boundaries and safety guidelines for stem cell research conducted in our state, including a strict ban on any attempt to clone a human being. The Stem Cell Initiative does not ask for funding, and it does not require the state or Missouri taxpayers to fund any stem cell research. 
It simply ensures that any stem cell research and cures allowed under federal law will continue to be allowed in Missouri. The Stem Cell Initiative is supported by a broad coalition that includes 50,000 Missouri citizens from all walks of life and by dozens of leading patient groups and nonprofit medical research institutions, including the American Association for Cancer Research, American Diabetes Association, Christopher Reeve Foundation, Hereditary Disease Foundation, Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, Lance Armstrong Foundation, Mound City Medical Forum, National Parkinson Foundation, National Prostate Cancer Coalition, Stowers Institute for Medical Research, and Washington University in St. Louis. We invite you to join our coalition and read more about the Stem Cell Initiative by visiting our website at www.missouricures.com or call us at 800-829-4133. And in November, we urge you to vote yes on the Stem Cell Initiative to ensure that Missouri patients have equal access to stem cell cures and to allow Missouri medical institutions to provide and help find those cures. As a physician who cares for babies, I urge all mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and grandparents to support the hope for cure, to support the Missouri Stem Cell Research Initiative. I found out that I had type 1 juvenile diabetes when I was um, 4 years old. How do you look at anyone with cancer or Parkinson's or a, a spinal cord injury and say we're going to walk away from hope? How do I look my son in the face and tell him that we're going to walk away from hope? I can't. Everyone in Missouri who cares about the health of themselves, their family, their friends, their children and grandchildren, Everyone who wants the future promise of research from early stem cells to be available to them right here in Missouri without having to leave home to get it should support the stem cell initiative. When the stem cell initiative is on the ballot, I will vote in favor of it and with the hopes that we as the people of Missouri can move forward. I'm 18 years old and I've had four major heart surgeries. My daughter Dina was born with congenital heart disease. It's so important for us to uh, support the Missouri Stem Cell Initiative because we want to make sure that there is access for patients for cures. My entire political career, I voted pro-life. And that is exactly why I favor the Stem Cell Initiative. I believe in saving human life. This isn't a political issue. It's not a partisan issue. You know, this isn't a science versus religion, a Democrat versus Republican. This is a people issue. And that's why this initiative is so vital. This could very well affect the lives of, of not just hundreds of thousands of Missourians now, but millions of people down the road in future generations.